Good morning and welcome to The Daily Word with Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. My name is Kathleen McMurray, one of the pastors here. And for today's scripture on Friday, March 10th, we'll be reading from Exodus chapter 16, verses 9 through 21. Then Moses told Aaron, Say to the entire Israelite community, Come before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. While Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked towards the desert, and there was the glory of the Lord appearing in the cloud. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the dew was gone, thin flakes like frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. And when the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. But Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Everyone is to gather as much as you need. Take an omer for each person you have in your tent. The Israelites did as they were told. Some gathered much, some little. And when they measured it by the Omar, the one who gathered much did not have too much, and the one who gathered little did not have too little. Everyone gathered as much as they needed. Then Moses say, said to them, No one is to keep any of it until morning. However, some of them paid no attention to Moses, and they kept part of it until morning. But it was full of maggots and began to smell. So Moses was angry with them. Each morning, everyone gathered as much as they needed, and when the sun grew hot, it melted away. So often, we, like the Israelites, worry about not having enough. Enough food, enough money, enough love, enough protection, enough security. Our inclination is to doubt that we have enough, and then in that fear, our inclination is to hoard. But we are called instead to trust. That is what this scripture is about. The people are not to hoard. They are to trust that God will provide them for their needs. Trust in God. And another thing that we are called to do in scripture as we trust is to share. And together, God provides us with enough. If we hoard, if we hold for ourselves, if we fail to trust, it won't go well. There won't be enough for everyone. But if we trust in God and we use what God has given us, there is more than enough to go around. So on this Lenten journey, as we think about encountering Jesus, what it means to encounter Jesus in our life and in our world, I invite us to trust and to seek to encounter Jesus not in the hoarding, but in the sharing, in acts of generosity, in acts of gratitude, and in acts of thankfulness for the abundance that God gives us.